Sentence. I'm on the wind, so you don't watch out who I'm beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies I Put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone It's solely my job in Salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community And give my opinion because my opinion matters Sorry about that, Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised Yo! What is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, I do apologize. The last previous videos, I've been having technical difficulties, but now we're back on track. We are firme now. And I know you guys have been noticing a lot that I've been covering the royalty family uh, for a reason. I know sometimes you guys are like, I don't even know who they are. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter how you feel! It doesn't matter, you feel me? Sorry about that. I don't give a flying Dublin. If you know them, you know them. And if you don't, <laughs> And also I was thinking too, getting some of the royalty family members because little kids are the ones that are actually subscribing right now at the moment. My moms have been slacking lately, you feel me? And they are good investments because then I can transform their Chia to a level one Chia, you feel me? And we can convert them. So make sure you do subscribe. We're doing a giveaway at 185,000 subscribers. Really do appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to i can't wait till you make a video about us that wouldn't be a good thing you want to not be in these videos big felly Now, the first thing that we're actually going to be getting into, did you guys see with Mr. Landon? Now, he had several tweets to say uh, over on Twitter, and he also had a post on his Instagram story about how he's allegedly having a number two baby. Mike, some of you women settle for way too little. You deserve more, queen, queen. But couldn't treat Shyla LaBeouf right. You made the right move, Shyla Sita. But practice what you preach. Hopefully, the next woman you get, you actually value her. Oof. <laughs> Gotcha. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't that load of baloney, that <laughs> nobody believed it. And then he had a tweet to say, which kind of backfired on him. Uh, both of the tweets on the first one, se lo tragaron, and then they said, uh, are you dumb or something? Huh? Use that chi of yours. And then on the second one as well, they said, don't play around like that, big fella. Please, please, please. And meanwhile, if you go on Shyla and see the update on Shyla, uh, it looks like she's actually helping out. I think someone had a billboard where it was like uh, him posting his social media and then Shyla posted it. And this, uh, I guess, helped the guy out a lot. Versus Mr. Landon over here uh, talking some boo boo and a lot of baloney. And did you guys see with Miss Alondra Desesita? Now she actually gave a little bit of an update. A lot of you guys been wondering what's actually been going on with her because it kind of seems like she's been staying home a lot and, and Benny's been going out. But they kind of did address it that uh, Miss Alondra was working on projects, but she had this to see on her story. Mike. over it i took off my lashes and i'm so sad because my makeup actually came out so good today for me not to have an outfit and for everyone saying oh it must be nice losing the weight you guys don't understand like i'm losing weight everywhere but i still look like i look bloated all the time so i'm like i don't know i just hate how everything has been looking on me you guys i was literally 130 pounds pre-pregnancy and right now i'm 109 so she did say that she's been losing a lot of weight like i did mention she did make that video so i think she's going through something she's saying that she's not fitting through her clothes anymore and that she's having clothes issues that can be a sign you know that something's going on but make sure to comment down below as to what do you guys think of that situation with people thinking that they're gonna break up and this and not and did you guys see with our queen hot cheetah miss jenny v and i'm talking about the remix 
Kenny 69, she's gonna be performing on the stage. And I'm talking about the stage, Mike. Two seconds later. Okay, and I was thinking, and this isn't even hating, okay? First and foremost, congratulations to her because that's actually pretty big to actually be performing. But let me, hold on, let me put my note down. This time it's just one. It's not a whole folder, so I can't toss it. What in the Fletcher Dublin are you going to perform? Dun, 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 dun. I think she has like two songs. Two Fletcher Dublin songs. And one of them, you got like 30 remix to a Jetty 69. <laughs> Goddamn techno going up. <laughs> Jenny 60. I might go to that one, not for her, but for Daddy Yankee. So if I'm already there on the way, I might as well just go over there and peep out uh, Miss Jenny 69. If this video gets 4,000 likes, I'll go check out Jenny 69 filming for you guys. Come back with the intel. Don't even worry. I will do my job as a detective. But my thing is, remember, I'm going for Daddy Yankee, not for Jenny 69, the Queen of Hachita. Don't get it misinterpreted. I know some of you guys are going to be like, you fanboy. Come caca de la masa. I'm not a fanboy. Don't call me that. Don't call me that. I'm there for Mr. Gasolina because when the guy Solina prices went up the most. That's when he vanished. So before the brother vanishes, well, I'm gonna get a hold of that brother. But 4,000 likes if you want to see me record Jenny69, your queen of Hachita. And speaking of Hachitas, did you guys see with the Cheeto Puff Nails mic? <laughs> Hell no. Hell. Hell. If I go on a date and I see a girl come in with some damn Cheeto nails, you know the first thing I'm gonna think because I don't even know if those even exist. But first of all, I'm gonna get your hand and say, mm, que rico. But aside from that, I'm gonna be like, cochina. <laughs> I think I got some wipes here too. Yeah, I think I'd be like, you need some damn wipes? I got you, sister, please. I know you guys are gonna be like, God damn, where does he always get these damn props from? <laughs> And speaking of Spanish too, on my last video, or on the Benny video, uh, I think I messed up or something like that. But you see how bullying works? If you guys bully somebody, like I got bullied enough to where I started looking, I, I couldn't even go to sleep. I just kept thinking of the word. I'm not even gonna say it because that's how damn traumatized I am. You see how bullying works? Now that you guys bullied me, I know that I have to make my Spanish more firme. Like the firme firme type. So don't worry. Appreciate the bullying. And for the world news, we're gonna end it off with some good world news. Did you guys see the National Park Ranger retiring at a hundred years old? Oh my God. Zaming. Now this doesn't mean she was working from one to a hundred years old at the national parks and she was birthed. <laughs> she was working at the national park. No, 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 no. They're saying is she's a hundred years old, but working there at a hundred. I said, sheesh. Congratulations to her. A hundred is a long goddamn time. You feel me? Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. Remember to drop a like if you guys do want to see me at that Jenny 69 concert at her techno. <laughs> Make sure to comment down below and subscribe. 185,000 subscribers. We're doing two thousand dollars of a giveaway you know it's legit and i really do appreciate you guys Esos no son pantalones. ¿De, de lo que son? Tantos pinches hoyos. Se te ven las pinches nalgas. Todos los pies. Y esas patotas que traes. ¿Tú ves? Tú no tienes la culpa. Tú tienes la culpa. ¿Cómo vas a dejar? Si un hombre te toca, Sonsa. Un hombre te puede tocar. Un hombre te puede hacer algo. Y tú ahí enseñando todo. ¿No te valoras o qué, mija? Estás bien bonito para vestirte así. No te tienes que poner el maquillaje. No te tienes que vestir así como tu pinche madre. No tienes que hacer esas cosas. Te ves bonita, hija. Pero yo no quiero que te vistas así. Te ves mal, hija. No empieces a chillar, hija. No empieces. Puedes salir. Nomás ve y cámbiate, por favor. No, no vas a salir así. No me vas a pedir ningún permiso.